Hello everybody and welcome to the Geek Fortress. Today we have the top 10 best DC animated movies. Let's see what we've got. Some people may agree or some others disagree that DC is not really the best when it comes to uh, big movies but one thing they're good at is TV shows and animated movies and right now we're gonna talk about the top 10 best ones based on many things such as story uh, animation as well as uh, well if it sucked or not now we're going to start the list with one that some of you are gonna be like wait what number 10 but it gets better at number 10 we have Batman under the Red Hood Loosely based on the death in the family story arc with uh, Jason Todd when he was Robin and the Joker and everything else that happened around that time. I'm, I'm going to try to keep it spoilers free as much as I can, but uh, the story is great. The animation is fantastic. Jensen Ackles does a fantastic job as the Red Hood. And uh, I think it's one of the best movies that DC has created, but it's still number 10. At number 9, we have All-Star Superman. Also based on the comic book with the same title, uh, let's just say that Superman is trying to get his bucket list together. Uh, Lex Luthor is able to hurt him really, really bad to the point that Superman is basically about to die. So in the movie, they represent perfectly the art style and everything else that made the uh, graphic novel really successful one of my favorite and number nine in our list at number eight we have actually two of them one of them is green lantern first flight and the other one is green lantern emerald knights if you want to watch something green lantern related if you want to watch the background story how jordan's origin story as well as some side story with emerald knights which was like um it's kind of like this movie that has like five six plus different stories with different green lanterns this is the one you need to watch fantastic background story including Kilowog, Sinestro and of course Hal Jordan at number seven we have son of Batman now in this movie basically we have Bruce Wayne finding out that he had a kid with Talia al Ghul and it's basically like here's your son buddy remember that night that we got drunk had a couple of and then you know one thing led to another and then you know yeah, Son of Batman. To keep it spoiler free, they have to go up against a certain death stroke. That's all I'm going to tell you. At number six, we have DC's Justice League versus Teen Titans. It's exactly what it sounds like. I'm not going to give any spoilers because you have to watch this movie. One of the best ones I've seen. The animation is fantastic. The same people who did Justice League War, which we want to be talking about soon and just the storyline, the arc, the connection that all the superheroes have, and uh, the Teen Titans as well. Something happens which makes the Justice League go a little dark. See what I did there? And the Titans have to step up. Highly recommended. Number five, we have Justice League War. Now, if you wanna watch a great Justice League story, if you want it to be kind of like the Justice League cartoon that you used to watch when you were yay little, and you want to see a lot of Batman jokes because everybody makes fun of him. It's amazing. I love it. But it's like a oh, pun here, pun here. Oh, you're a bad and got you're a guy in a man in a bad suit. Blah blah blah. It's beautiful. Then you have to check this one out. Loosely, ah, not loosely. Very much based on the uh, New Fifty Two uh, story of how the Justice League came together. It's one of those movies that you have to watch, like right now. Go go buy it right now or or rent it or whatever it is that you do to watch movies because this one it's wow to keep it spoiler free they fight Darkseid and you know how that goes if you've seen the comic book quickie with Darkseid at number four we have Superman versus the elite now if you want to see Superman lose his mind kinda lose control and truly show how powerful he can be watch this one Long story short, he goes berserk at one point and he shows you just how powerful he really is. Pick it up. 
At number three, we have Batman Assault on Arkham. Now, technically, the canon of this takes place in the uh, Arkham universe um, with the video games, but I honestly think that it's the best approach to a Suicide Squad movie that we've seen. And uh, I want to say maybe even better than the live action movie because they do a great job. They do the characters justice and it's not a Batman movie. It's honestly, you see Batman in it, but most of the time you see these guys, which is the, the Suicide Squad and uh, Amanda Waller's in it. And the ending is one of those woo endings that I wish they, they, they would have actually used that in the movie now that I think about it. Cause he was just like, ha ha. Not a spoiler, just watch it. At number dos, or numero two, we have Justice League Gods and Demons. Another that is not canon to the DC universe, but in this universe, Superman is adopted by a Mexican couple. Batman is actually a vampire. And this girl right here, it's supposed to be the Wonder Woman, but I'm not gonna tell you who she is because you have to watch the movie because it's kind of a big deal to find out who she is. Uh, Amazing movie. The story is fantastic. The Superman, if you see, he kind of looks like Zod, uh, General Zod. And the guy who voices Batman is actually Michael C. Hall. For those of you who don't know who that is, it's Dexter from the Showtime TV show, and he does a fantastic job. Number two for a reason. Pick it up, watch it, comment below, tell me what you think. Drum roll for number one. And the number one spot could not have gone to any other movie. I've seen pretty much every single DC animated movie, but this is the one that takes the ball. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. This is a deluxe edition that has part one and two. Based on the Frank Miller graphic novel, which what the Batman vs Superman movie was based on as well. In this movie, we see an older Batman. We see a older Joker. We see Batman testing his limits because he's now an older man. We see a new Robin. And we also see an amazing Batmobile that if you guys haven't seen it or if you guys haven't uh, read the graphic novel, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Number one in our list for a reason. And that's our quick list for top 10 DC animated movies. But what do you guys think? What was your favorite animated movie? What was your least favorite? And I think we can all agree that the last movie that they came out with, which was The Killing Joke, wasn't the best. So I might be doing a worse DC animated movies, which it's kind of hard because I, I really like them all, but some of them could be less um, interesting than others. But overall, all of them are fantastic movies with great writing and they really nail their animated movies. If you guys haven't picked up any of them or if you've seen a couple here and there, please, please check them out. Follow us on the Facebook group, follow us on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, at LouisAmber3790. Drop us a line, let us know what you want to see next, let us know what you want us to do next, let us see what comic book quickies you would like to see. All the links for the comic book quickies are down below in the description. If you want to watch the latest comic book quickie, it is right here, you can just click right there, and it'll take you right there. Also, please stay tuned because we have more comic book quickies coming up, as well as a couple movie reviews that, um, are right around the corner and if you guys remember to don't forget to subscribe like share and all that fun stuff that i keep saying over and over so i'm just gonna shut up now thank you for watching guys you guys are awesome stay awesome and geek on be safe titans go to geek fortress